Good day everyone, I'm Mr. Dan Alexander Apostol, Grade 9 teacher of Pasita Complex National High School. Let's begin! Our lesson for today is all about equations transformable into quadratic equations. Let us state the objective. So the objective for today is to transform equations into quadratic equations. Let us try example number 1. Find the roots of the equation square of x plus 5 plus square of x minus 2 is equal to 37. So first thing to do is to expand the first term. So to expand this, so we are going to multiply quantity x my x plus 5 to itself. So we have now quantity x plus 5 times quantity x plus 5. Then to simplify this, we are going to use FOIL method. So we are going to multiply the first terms, the outer terms, the inner terms, and last terms. So the first term multiply x times x that is x squared outer terms multiply x times 5 that is 5x then inner terms multiply 5 times x that is 5x then multiply last terms so 5 times 5 that is 25 now let us combine the terms so we have x squared then 5x plus 5x that is 10x. So we have x squared plus 10x, then plus 25. This is now the expanded form of square of x plus 5. Next, after expanding the first term, let us expand the second term. So the same process with the first term. So we are going to multiply quantity x minus 2 by itself. So we have x mi uh, quantity x minus 2 times quantity x minus 2. So again, by using FOIL method, so we just simply multiply the first term, outer terms, inner terms, and last terms. So x times x, we have x squared. Then x times negative 2, that is negative 2x. Negative 2 times x, that is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2, we have positive 4. Then again, combine the terms. So we have x squared, then negative 2x, plus negative 2x, that is negative 4x, or minus 4x. Then, plus 4. So we have now the expanded form of square of x minus 2 as x squared minus 4x plus 4. So we have now x squared plus 10x plus 25 plus x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 37. Now let us try to simplify this. But first, let us transpose 37 to the left side of the equation. So it becomes x squared plus 10x plus 25 plus x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 37 is equal to 0. Then again. Okay, Next is to combine like terms. So we have x squared and x squared. So that is x squared plus x squared. Then 10x minus 4x. Then 25 plus 4 minus 37 is equal to 0. Then simplify. So we have x squared plus x squared that is 2x squared. 10x minus 4x that is 6x. Then 25 plus 4 minus 37 that is negative 8 or minus 8. So therefore, the new equation now is 2x squared plus 6x minus 8 is equal to 0. Now let us find the roots. 
Okay, let us solve for the roots. So in this case, if the equation is factorable, let us use factory. So let us factor 2x squared plus 6x minus 8 is equal to 0. So the factors are quantity 2x minus 2 times the quantity of x plus 4 is equal to 0. If we are going to multiply these factors, we are going to get this equation. Now, after getting the factors, let us use zero product property. So, let us equate both factors to zero. So, we have now the first factor which is 2x minus 2 is equal to zero. Then the other factor which is x plus 4 is equal to zero. Then let us solve for x. So, to solve for x, just simply transfer negative 2 or minus 2 to the right side of the equation. So, it becomes 2x is equal to 2. Then divide both sides by 2, so we have 2x divided by 2, that is x. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. So the first root is x is equal to 1. Next, x plus 4 is equal to 0. Transfer 4 to the right side of the equation, so it becomes negative. So we have now x is equal to negative 4. So the second root is x is equal to negative 4. Therefore, the roots are x is equal to 1 and x is equal to negative 4. Then if we are going to check this one, just substitute the values of x to the equation. Then if the left side and the right side of the equation uh, have the same value, it is correct. Example number 2. Solve the rational algebraic equation. 6 over x plus x minus 3 over 4 is equal to 2. So to solve for this one, we are going to find the LCM of the denominator or this common multiple of the denominator. So by getting the denominators x and 4, so since they have no common factor, so we just simply multiply 4 and x. So that is 4 times x, that is 4x. Next, to eliminate the denominators, multiply the least common multiple to both sides of the equation. So we have now 4x times 6 over x plus x minus 3 over 4 is equal to 2 times 4x. So multiply 4x to the first term. So 4x times 6 over x, we can divide x by x, so that is 1. So 4 times 1, that is 4. 4 times 6, that is 24. Next, distribute 4x to the second term. So since 4 and 4 are divisible, so we can divide this. 4 divided by 4, that is 1. Then 1 times x, that is x. So x times x, we have x squared. x times negative 3, that is negative 3x or minus 3x is equal to 2 times 4x, that is 8x. Next, write the equation in standard form. So we have 24 plus x squared minus 3x is equal to 8x. Transfer 8x to the left side of the equation. So it becomes x squared minus 3x minus 8x plus 24 is equal to 0. Then simplify. So we have now x squared negative 3x minus 8x that is negative 11x plus 24 is equal to 0. So the new equation now is x squared minus 11x plus 24 is equal to 0. Then let us, let us solve for the roots by factoring. So again, if the equation is factorable, use factoring. So let us factor x squared minus 11x plus 24 is equal to 0. So the factors are x minus 3 and x minus 8. So we have x uh, quantity x minus 3, then quantity x minus 8 is equal to 0. Then equate both factors to 0 by 0 product property. So x minus 3 is equal to 0, then x minus 8 is equal to 0. Transpose 
negative 3 or minus 3 to the right side of the equation, so we have x is equal to 3. Transpose minus 8 or negative 8 to the right side, so we have x is equal to 8. So therefore, the roots are x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 8. Again, to check if the answers are correct, simply substitute the values to the equation, then if it is equal, therefore, our answer is correct. That's all for now. Thank you and God bless.